Good afternoon, beautiful people. It has been a hot minute since we filmed. Um, quite some time, actually. We are back. We've been back just over 24 hours now, and we're heading to Lady Pennybum, which I'm very excited for. We've also got a new feature, which will, will be the first time we see it, and you guys see it. And hopefully it will help a little bit this summer. Slightly jet-lagged. Yeah. We're being understood. Understand. It's like 5 p.m. now and we woke up at 2 a.m. and we haven't gone back to sleep. We slept the night before from like 8 p.m. till 2 a.m. and then we tried so hard to get back to sleep but it just jet lag's weird. Mm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, excited, head into Lady Penny Burn and just chores to do when we get there. Yeah, chores. Yeah, I've got to sort out the water, I've got to make the bed, we've done a nice food shop. Which is exciting. Gonna fill up the fridge, and yeah, you have to turn the electric on so the fridge is actually cool. But I think first we're just gonna air it out, open the windows, and just yeah, try and cool it down because I I can imagine how hot it is in there. We've definitely brought the sun back with us though. It's hotter here than it was in LA. Yeah, and I swear the heat over here is just it's not the same. <laughs> it's like an hour drive to get here. And I think we're both feeling it a bit now. Should be fun. I think we're gonna make the bed and bring all the stuff in and then see how far we get with the rest of it. But we're gonna wait for hours now. <laughs> A bit delirious actually. Yeah, like you've like left a festival and you shouldn't really be driving but you are. Feels good to be back there. So we spoke about it before but definitely haven't shown you yet because this is our first time seeing it and look at our new crunch cover. Got to put the glass in. We didn't show you guys on any of our socials because the company we did it are pretty old school and I, we didn't even get a photo until um, our parents came and checked on the boat. Really, really happy with it though. Hopefully that should just keep a bit of sun off so we can sit and chill and not sweat. Ooh, looks nice. How hot can it be? I mean, we're home. I mean, not excruciating. Oh, Ooh, that feels nice. So, warm in here as expected. You can see where the wood has shrank um, in the heat. It's been boiling hot in here. Feels nice to be back. It does feel hot in here. Floating home. It's not as hot as it, but look, it's not as hot in here as I thought. To be fair, it's been hotter, isn't it? And to be fair, the curtains have been shut. So, oh, <laughs> welcome home. I'm so cold. <laughs> have you told them it's 35 degrees in here? Yeah. Centigrade ping to whatever that is in Fahrenheit, our American cousins. We should know that off by heart now, that's over 100 degrees. Right, time for the big switch on so we can turn the fridge on, maybe have a cold beer. The beer ain't gonna be cold for a while. <laughs> I need to get in there. Oh. Sorry. I should have said. All right. Everything we do. Oh, that's light. Not the solar. Oh, is it? That's solar. I think that's it. Ooh. So not on Wi-Fi. There we go. Battery's still exactly 100%. It's good, isn't it? That's not bad. They've been left for literally three months unattended. They are brand new though, so I guess you should expect that anyway. I keep forgetting to bring a glass for... Will this work? 
just for my lavender. I might have turned the... Uh, I don't know if the pump will come on or not. I wouldn't want to drink it. No, that's we need to sort out. We need to drain all this back. We don't want... Is it crones you can catch from pipes that have been left with water sat in them? No, it's Or limes. Not. Limes, <laughs> Disney. We'll tackle that. These are from my dad's garden. Thanks, Dad. It was my mum's birthday today as well. Happy birthday, Mum. <laughs> you know what I'm going to have to do? What? It's just have one of them beers as they are. Oh, you and me. So that's just going to make you go to sleep? What, as if jet lag after a 10 hour flight and not sleeping from 2 a.m. till now? Well, well I'm going to make the bed. Oh, how nice is it to be back there? I like it in here. I don't know who did it up, but it's lovely. I love what you've done with the place. I'm glad we cleaned like it's obviously a bit dusty, but I'm glad we cleaned it. Oh look at that. What cracked? It's front right back. Well it's basically been an oven in there, isn't it? First beer since being back in England. Like literally less than a day. Oh. <laughs> oh. Nice. Just nothing competes to British ale, does it? Sorry, America. What are you in your butt, Clem? I'm going to go make the bed. Can you help me? Yeah, let's go make the bed then. Yes, it's too small in there for two people. No, it's not, Joe. Oh, it's a nice breeze coming through now, mate. Come on. I need a haircut as well. My mum had the audacity, right? We've been away for three months, she had the audacity to go away to France. So she's not even back here to cut my hair. We my didn't mum... tell her when we were coming back. I thought mums would have known that. For their sense. Joe didn't even get a haircut for our wedding day. Oh, sorry. He didn't want to pay the biggest prices. Three so months growth. I'm not spending $60 on a haircut. It was I don't... more than that. Yeah, but that one came with a cocktail. Anyway, I'm going to make the bed because one of us has got to do it. I ain't going to be him, is it? <laughs> Too hot to be doing that. Why oh, that? Yeah, don't put my top back on. Why? Because I've gained a few pounds. That's alright. Side profile. <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? Double doubles, in and out, animal style. If you know, you know. And just meat with every meal, really, which I'm not quite used to. We did a food shop, and it's full of veggies and <coughs> healthy things, sort of. So once the fridge is cooled down, or oh, I could just put it in now, can't I? Won't yeah. make, it won't make any odds, it can't be any hotter than out here. So I'm going to do the fridge. Does she notice the things I notice? <sighs> fridge is full, water tank's nearly full. It's still over 30 degrees in here. Ooh. And I think we're going to go to bed in a minute. Are you nearly ready for bed? I don't know how well we're going to sleep in this temperature, but. Mamma mia. Keep, the, <sighs> keep those doors open, it creates a nice draft. Mm. Um, so we'll catch you guys in the morning. well last night we just had all the doors open <laughs> and all the windows left open which is fine in a marina but obviously we don't want to do that on a towpath um it's like 19 degrees in here it's obviously hot wherever you sleep at the moment so it was actually really cool and pleasantly surprised 
Hello, pretties. Managed to get a couple hours editing in, and it's now reached 30 degrees, and the sun's not even out. I'm not even sure how that works. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna make some pesto. These are brand new frying pans. We watched a thing on Teflon. Is that the word? Yeah, like Teflon non-stick pans. Yeah, and, stuff. and it's scared us. So we've got rid of all them, and we've got non-stick ones, which are great. But we've literally had these since you've moved in so we've used them less than five times and it's already stained and i don't know how to get off does anyone have any suggestions because it makes me a bit sad that they look so haggard um but i'm going to tow some pine nuts or some nuts i think we've got pine nuts make some pesto and just some nice healthy in ish healthy don't know if pesto is that healthy to be honest but I went foraging this morning. I didn't really find anything. There's lots of flowers and things like that out at the moment, but we're not really by any woods to look for mushrooms. I'm gonna cool down the only way I know to cool down. That's your two bears gone then, you're not sharing mine. Maybe after lunch we can talk to people about our adventure that we didn't really film. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Have a catch up. Oh. And then we've got a massive list to write out mm -hmm. to do this. Lemon, salt, pepper. Maybe a bit of lemon. This is what we're currently bustling. It is hot now. We're now up to 32.4. Joe's looking at fans on Argos. 32.8. We might we might get up to 34 actually. That's going too much, mate. Look at how big the flame is. <laughs> now this oil's too fat, hot. I'm smoking. Look how high you've got it both up, mate. How That's that, that was on full. Oh. oh my God. Is that still on full now? Well, I'm confused. That, that left one's on minimum. That's fine. What about this Look one? at it's got a picture of a big and a small flame, mate. What more That's do you the need? Smallest one. Yeah, but you haven't the biggest. It's not an air in it. 33.7 and climbing. <laughs> Screw fix to rescue on the fan front. 18 inch industrial floor fan. 35.99. 11 in stock, I don't know, but we're going to rely on the old eco flow, and I'm sure it will. Voila. Just had our pesto pasta, we are now off to get the fan because we are sweating. Jolly. Come on, come. I don't mind. He got the goods. He's Christ, that's a bit big, isn't it? Whoa. Wow. Can you take this off my lap now? You've just made that really awkward. <laughs> Joe, no, I'm not. This isn't a thing. Shall we talk a little bit about our journey? What, right here, right now? Right here, right now. I don't feel like. I think it's better if we do it back at the boat. Actually, because otherwise we'll be talking nonsense because we're going to forget things. Like, I've already forgotten where we went from where to where and all that. Well, we sort of like fell out of love of it. I think when we planned the trip in 2020, we didn't have a YouTube channel and the itinerary was quite full on. So just trying to fit in like took the joy out of it, I think, would you say? Mm, it was quite stressful trying to... Just trying to plan down them. days because, yeah. I mean, it takes a good day or two to put the videos together. And then obviously because our audience, uh, you guys, 
most of you have come from watching the narrowboat they were all doing 10 out of 10 which if you don't understand youtube algorithm is the last 10 videos you've made it shows you how Sorry, good they're doing Morrison's. you want to get ice creams yeah i want to go into the town as well um so yeah all of them were like scoring pretty badly which again is just a bit of a blow when you've like spent so much That's time doing it you horrible buggers just want to see us work yeah <laughs> So yeah, so once we got to Vegas and it was our wedding and we had the best time in Vegas, honestly, it was incredible. We just sort of went into holiday mode then because... Why not? Yeah, it was our honeymoon and then we sort of stopped filming really. And I'm glad we did. I think it was the right decision for us. I think, you know, we had quite high expectations that we'd be able to put a video out each week and it just didn't work out like that. So next time, if and when we do go on another adventure, we'll just make sure we have more time to like yeah more downtime i think as well in the van you don't realize but you do have quite a bit of downtime like just chill you know when you park up you go into a car park and then you're sat like chilling in your house but when you're traveling like we did in america you just you're literally driving for hours and then you get to a motel you literally crash and then you like start all over again so and then you gotta leave by 10 a.m you gotta check out by 10 or 11 a.m yeah you're back on the road again yeah, so, but we'll explain everything we've done and the things that you guys missed on video uh, when we get back. But first, we're going to go get some ice cream or some ice lollies and maybe go to a chat shop. We got fun! Woo. It's gone down a couple of degrees since you turned the hole off. 31. So, we went in a chat shop. Joe got a nice book on Norwegian wood and really funny. Um, when we were in Alcatraz, Joe got a cup from the gift shop and he said that was going to be his cup when he was camping. And after he bought it, I kind of regretted not getting one as well. Exhibit A. And would you believe it, there was one in the charity shop. And we saved about $10. So now we've both got a cup. It's quite big. Industrial. This is an industrially hot building. 110 watt. Is it? That's what it says. <laughs> is that a lot? A fair bit. Oh dear. Well, we'll see how long it takes. Well, it's industrial. What do you expect? I want to be cold. Are you sat on the loaf of bread? Joe, so you're sat on the back. Why are they on the that just looks like that's gonna. There's a big old motor on that. Take a lot of power. That's a bit of a beast, isn't it? If the eco flow will run out of charge, I don't know how charged it is. I'll rather put this on later. But ninety percent, I can keep the eco flow plugged in to the oh. solar panels. So I'm not worried about power. More the size of it, but I tell you what, it feels like a, a decent quality little unit. That little, I think much smaller. So, I'm just intrigued to see how long we can run. Excuse the mess here. So, equal goes on 86%. Number one. That's nice. Actually, on number one. That's lovely. We could run that for 12 hours, like that. That's not bad, is it? No. Number two. 11 hours. Eight hours on number three. Five, six, seven, eight. All right. That's lovely. Little pasty legs. Does that sort of blow through? Delicious. It's better, isn't it? Good morning, folks. Good morning. Um, 
We're only over here for like another 10 minutes and we're heading back to my parents, got a few errands to run. Do you want this? It's water before he tries and fobs you off that he's drinking beer in the morning. Hmm. Got a couple of things to do. It's my friend's wedding, as I've said, um, this weekend. So just getting organised for that. Um, and see your mum and dad, because we haven't seen them yet. They were in France when we got back. And get my haircut done. Finally. It's not as bad a haircut as when we come back from the van trip, though, is it? Do you think Joe should get a mullet? Should I get the mullet shaved in? <laughs> it's so hot already. 27 in there. What time is it? 10 a.m. Uh, not even 10. No. Out. Right. 25 past 9. We'll catch up with you in a sec. got some tidying and organizing duties today to do whilst Danny's at work should be back at like 10 o'clock or something tonight bless her um essentially under the bed is going to be where we're going to store all of our activity gear like bikes and Danny's paddleboard and stuff at the minute it's full of tools but I still need the tools to do jobs at some point so it's just going to be finding a nice balance of what we can fit under there without getting rid of stuff that we actually need. Since we last left you, there's been quite a big heat wave in England, so we avoided the boat for a couple of days because it was as hot in England here as it was in Las Vegas, which is just unheard of. Um, hopefully not a sign of things to come forever, but that was, yeah, pretty intense. It's already 25 degrees in here, which is enough. Um, I'll put the Fahrenheit bits down the bottom so I can never remember. This is what I'm talking about. way better still full but there's a paddle board all sorts in and out put the bike outside on the stern deck now i call that time for lunch peanut butter noodles we lived off this in hawaii it's about the only thing we could afford afternoon friends so Danny got back late yesterday and she's already wrecked the lovely tidy boat that I did for her before we get back from work didn't get to sh a chance to show them how tidy it was not it, it was tidy but we've been back to Joe's parents today and we've brought some more stuff over so I'm gonna sort that all out and also before we went away like this is obviously gonna be our wardrobe area and we just filled these with rubbish not really short in them you've got three I've got one by the way I got more clothes than you. And then maybe put the food Curtain up. Pull in. Yeah. That'd be good. We're going to need more of these, but at least then it takes up some of the room here and we can sort of envision it a bit better. What do you think? The, yeah. the house is a mess though. We need to. We need coffee first too. 
Mm. I'm going to tidy in there whilst you tidy in here. I'm actually going to ban you from this other boat. Bye. Tell him what you just said to me. I said I was going to have the bottom drawer because you're old. You're moaning about your knees already. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I was doing you a favour. You're going to have the top drawer then. Yeah. And then you get the bottom three. Yeah. Am I actually allowed three and you're allowed to, what? I can fit in one. Crazy. I imported these from America. Uh, Those are the American ones? Yeah. Oh, you've ate a family sharing bag yesterday. Really? They these are, so are mine good. now then. They are so good. These are mine now. I see a train. We are getting there, it's getting tidier quite quickly. It's the joys of living in a small space. It's quick to get messy, but also quick to tidy. Um, I found these in the process. I'm not really sure where to put them. I was thinking, like this. They don't quite reach the floor, but. What, pinned up there? Yeah, what do you think? Mm, I'll probably attach them to the curtain rail front. Should we do a curtain rail now? Yeah. Oh no, should we do a list first? What on? The board? Permanent one? No. I haven't got any paper. Have you got any paper? Mm. What about our insurance document? Thank you, Craft Insurance. What about on the back of this? You're actually getting rid of that bloody advent calendar now. No. They've all got labels on them. I won't be able to tell what they are now. Well, you, if you open some but not use them. Because I didn't fancy them. Chamomile and bee pollen, that'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Do you want it now? No. Countess Grey. Moroccan mint. One pen and a piece of cardboard later and we're ready to write the list. No particular Long order. Long list, yeah, no particular order. Close roll first. Is that even on there? Oh. Garden. It's cause it what do you mean garden? It's because it was on the list. Right, so I popped into the prop job yesterday, day before Probably. yesterday, without Danny. Got some fairy lights there. <coughs> no batteries though. Okay. Um, curtain pole and shower. Not curtain pole. Shower curtain rail and the clothes rail in the bedroom. I got little um, cleat hooks as handles on the hatches to pull hatches in because they're sort of nautical. Yeah. What are they actually Tying, you know, like on a blind. Uh, have it on a wall hog string. Mm. But you do, they have them on boats and stuff though. So. And that's for the thing. This is for a shelf somewhere. Oh, they're nice. Like them? Yeah? No. I like them. Sort of industrial. Um, these four piece tool hook set, I thought for. Come here. I'm friends with you. How do I take this off? Just under. Uh, no, no, no. That one. How long have you been doing this? I didn't really need four, but they only came in a four pack. What is this for? Sure. I mean, if it's. Even if it's just temporary. Right, anyway, just... Now yeah, you're with me. I'm with you. It's not come out far enough, so does it? It doesn't really work. I mean, hang on. If that was... You're getting the list wet. So... Doesn't really work, does it? I'm in a lot of trouble figuring this out. If anyone's got no ideas what we can do, try these mounts. It didn't really. It just it snapped. What about if you just glue it to the wall? What? Like that. This? No. That. 
that. Yeah, but it doesn't hold in the holder properly. We either need, we just want like a slight angle. Ooh. No. That. No, I don't like it. It's going to spray down the wall. I think we should have just had taps. In hindsight, yes, but. That looks awful. It was, they were a quid. We haven't really got an attachment for here either, have we? You see that? As long as you can make sure it's in that one. That ain't, that's, that's bang on, isn't it? Is it? It just doesn't look great though. <gasps> Joe! It's not bang on, is it? How about it got on the ceiling? Oh, it's kind of like so. Right there, that's a... Not my best purchase. Have you asked your dad? Yeah, you see, I don't, I can't remember what he said. I don't think he had many ideas on it. It's just a bit awkward, isn't it? Mm. Um, you almost need something that clamps. I, I will come up with something. I will not let, let it beat me. Um, should we do the clothes rail? Mm-hmm. How are you going to cut that? Axel, oh. it's going to sound horrible. Is that alright, isn't it? Look at my lovely crystal selection. This is all my goodies. Where's the likes? Can you have the likes on there? <laughs> right, this is going to be awkward. I, I've never done this. What are you putting it up with, in with? These sockets. So you've got to have it. But we were having the nice big ones like we had with the thing. The what? You put up with your bike and stuff. Yep, yeah, they're probably a bit too heavy, aren't they? Okay. Yeah, that's like scaffolding stuff. I thought with when we did the, we made some before out of wood and the, the, it's a little things but a clothes hanger just didn't quite move along it smoothly. Well, and also we had to bend them all out because it was thicker than the size of the clothes. Belt. Yeah, look at that. Look. If we've got a full tank of water, we're gonna like that. If we haven't got a full tank of water, we'll be like that. Anyway, I'm just procrastinating some tape measure. Whereabouts do you want it? Center? Yeah. So I cut the rail because I've got to cut it and allow enough. It's awkward, you see. The rail the rail's got to be too short because it needs to be able to go in one end far enough to then have enough slack and then come back. Or hang on, hang on, hang on. You cut it. No. It won't fit through. You put it? these on. It's going to have to be a little bit short. And then you put these on first and then just screw it up with that in. That's what you do. Yeah, but how are you going to fit it through the hole? Diagonal. And not scratch the paint at all. So I just do it a little bit short. About there, but is it going? How are you going to measure that this is even? What do you mean? Like in the middle of the walls, like. It's just going to be by eye, isn't it? Because the, the ceiling's not straight, the walls probably aren't straight. Well, Gary did these, they're probably straight. Um, so if I cut it, 6.30 is going to be a little bit, 6.35. Six, Yeah, I know it's, it's Okay, dropping. I don't know what you're wanting. Nothing now. That's fine. But you want to bring this bit out? Oh, yeah, but it won't stay there because it's loose. I need to get the screws first. It won't just float there like magic, will it? Oh, oh my god. Right. Yeah. Want a hand? Yeah. Oh, the screw's gone now.
Can you come sign this off? Nice. How many do I get? Probably. That many? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Shall I sign it off? Oh, yeah. A bit dark. Do you want me to do it? Because I did it. Bedroom clothes roll, yeah? Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Looks good. Did you have fairy lights on the list? No. Do you want to add them to the you list? Can't so just we can keep adding things to the list just to take them off. Come on, Groves, that way. Ooh. Ooh. Just something about fairy lights, isn't there? Now, this wasn't on the list either, but a little treat for you. Save our tiles getting bashed when the door closes. I've got a little door stop. Really edge of the seat stuff, this. But it all helps, doesn't it, Drive? Mm. You're making a hole in the floor for this? Yeah. Why? Oops, look. I've always that, as soon as that hits that, you can break that. I'll do somewhere around there. Um, I didn't bring the drill with me. Well, that's great then. What are you doing? It's actually drilling. Oh, yeah. Way easier than I thought. And then... Just take it I can't get out now. And that thing's broke. That's part of it. It's stuck there now. Warm in there, isn't it? Isn't it me? Ah, it's real stuck in there now. Why didn't you just wait till you got a drill? Because well, I'm impatient and I'm a man. I thought I missed working on the boat, you know, when we're away. You're not going to change the shape of that, sure. No. Yeah. It's only quite soft wood, isn't it? If I line that up. Look at that. Don't hit the tiles. Right. What are we going to eat? Bab. I've worked up a hell of an appetite. <laughs> Shame we can't take them off for this either, innit? Do you want to write them on just to take it off? No. Oh, Got Billy coming over tomorrow to stay on the boat um, to come back from Japan. Not just for us, as Joe said, but it's going to be nice to see her and for her to see the boat because she hasn't ever seen it. Pizza ready for tomorrow and then bed. that's us for this week thanks for watching hopefully next week we'll get a little bit more done it's just been settling in and taking it slow we'll, we'll show what the pizza would turn out like for real see what the pizza look like tomorrow